Now we haven't moved and nor have they. I think we're going to sit here a little bit longer everybody. Obviously the kids have left us so your questions are most welcome and indeed encouraged. Hashtag Safari Live, we'd like to hear from you. And if they don't move, Herbert reckons that the tracks of Karula have gone off towards the sort of northern side of that great big jackalberry tree on Gari Katan. I don't know if you know where that is, but it's not particularly relevant, but it's quite a long way northeast of here. And we're very surprised to find these things here because this is not the direction that we saw them going. And as I said to the school kids a little bit earlier, what we did was Herbert found um, the guts or the gut, the stomach of what looked to be an impala in a little pan. It had obviously been put there. Karula's tracks were all over the place. These guys had clearly been playing around in an area, in the area, and then they were found here. We were convinced we were about to step on them. Ooh. So that's very strange, I must say. I don't know where she is, what she's doing. All right, Brian? Just excuse the pole there, everyone. It is because we have had squalls coming through this area. Very nice. He's really got a bit of a mangled ear there, does our little Hosanna. And you can see how full bellied he is as well. So they've obviously eaten whatever stomach is lurking in the pan just off Twin Dams Road. They have clearly devoured it and their long-suffering mother has gone off to find them something else to eat. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it is. She's got her lip caught on a piece of guari bush and it's lifted it up exposing her very nice pearly white teeth. Isn't that nice? Beautiful. So I think if you're, if you're in agreement, we won't spend the whole afternoon here. I'd quite like to find out where Mum is. Oh, but if he carries on doing things like that, it's just rather sweet, isn't it? Go ahead, Rex. I'm just helping Rex come in here. I thought I heard a chuffing. And I'm sure they'd have looked on. Go ahead, no problem. Oh, well, that's quite nice. That's very nice. Not the fact that his throat's moving up and down, but that's his necklace there. Well, it's not actually. It's just a marking underneath his jaw, but it's quite distinctive. So take some screenshots, everyone, and let's use those to identify him, because, of course, he's not going to be here forever. And then sometimes male leopards come roaming into an area and somebody says, Oh, well, you know, I remember that leopard when he was a tiny baby cub, which of course is 99% of the time absolute rubbish. But if you've got pictures like that of those very distinctive spots underneath the chin, well, then it becomes a little bit easier. This is very interesting. The question that I had from Matthew I heard as follows. Wiccan Wocken Bulban Bingen next to you. Oh. Do you think that was the question? Uh, very close. Wiccan Wocken Bulban Wenken. Mm. <laughs> oh, wooden building. Wiccan Wocken wooden building over there. The wooden building, everybody, is the pump house. And you could all, along with us, be very grateful that the pump house has now got a solar pump in it because there used to be a diesel pump in there. And while we were sitting, enjoying the leopards, it would be going... No, 
didn't used to do that at all. Let's go back to the leopard. Um, <laughs> and that's where our water comes from. So what you would call a well in North America and what we would call a borehole goes down into the water table here and pumps water up to the camp. It first goes past Jamie and Brent, fills their tank, and then it pops across to where we are at the Democratic Republic of the Congo.